Welcome to the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium's English Language Arts Selected Response, Constructed Response, and Technology Enhanced Item Design Training Module. The Smarter Balanced Assessment System uses a variety of items and tasks, ranging from brief selected response and constructed response items that target specific concepts or skills to more extended performance tasks that require the application of English language arts skills to complex real-world scenarios. This module explores commonly accepted best practices for writing selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items. The module will help participants deepen their understanding of the purpose of selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items, describe the components of selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items, understand the essential requirements of quality items, Apply general guidelines for writing selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items, and identify exemplary and flawed items. Selected response items have many benefits. Selected response items are designed to be answered within one or two minutes and allow the opportunity to assess a broad range of content in one test. Selected response items are objectively scored and student results are collected quickly. Despite these benefits, there are two limitations. With selected responses, it is difficult to understand a student's reasoning process and to assess higher-order thinking skills. The Smarter Balanced Assessment System uses both traditional and non-traditional selected response items. Let's take a look at the format and components of a traditional selected response item. This item is a traditional Grade 9 selected response that is sometimes referred to as a multiple choice item. This item contains a stimulus, a stem, and four options. The stimulus is the passage that sets the context for the item. The stem is the statement of the question to which the student responds. The stem is sometimes also referred to as a prompt. The options are possible answers the students must select from. Options should be arranged according to a logical order such as numerically, alphabetically, or the order in which information is presented in the stimulus. There are four different ways to respond to this item, but only one correct answer. Distractors are incorrect answer options, and the key is the correct answer. The distractor analysis explains why the correct answer is correct. This is an example of a non-traditional selected response item written for grade 9. Like the previous item, there is a stimulus and a prompt. For this item, however, the student is asked to select multiple pieces of text. To respond correctly, students must select two correct sections of text. The key indicates which two highlighted portions of the text are correct. An item writer should consider creating alternate selected response items when, by doing so, the alternate items provide more information about a student's knowledge, skills, and abilities that can be gained through a traditional selected response item. Constructed response items are brief open response items that focus on a particular skill or concept and require students to produce a short written response. Constructed response items address assessment targets and claims that are of greater complexity, requiring more analytical thinking and reasoning than a selected response can elicit. Unlike performance tasks, which are the topic of another module, Constructed response items are designed to be administered during the computer adaptive component of the assessment. In order to score constructed response items quickly, automated scoring using artificial intelligence will be employed. Most constructed response items should take between 1 and 5 minutes to complete. Some more complex items may take up to 10 minutes to complete. All constructed response items are worth 2 to 4 points. Let's take a look at an example of a two-point constructed response item. Like selected response items, constructed response items have a stimulus and a stem. All constructed response items also must include a scoring rubric, scoring notes, and sample responses. The scoring rubric for each item distinguishes between characteristics of responses that provide evidence that the student has partially or fully developed the skill or knowledge defined by the assessment target. The scoring notes detail the information that should be included in a correct response. 
The sample responses provide concrete examples of what a response for each point value might look like. The top score sample should showcase a complete and thorough response. The language contained in samples should model what is expected from a student at the grade level being assessed. When developing selected and constructed response items, there are several requirements that are important to keep in mind. These requirements include proper alignment to claims and assessment targets, appropriate English language arts content and contexts, and proper presentation. In addition, the stimulus text should be at or below the assessed grade level as required by the claim. Claim 1 stimuli should represent a range of difficulty. Stimulus text for claims 2 and 4 should be below the assessed grade level. Items should be free of bias issues in regards to age, gender, race, ethnicity, language, religion, socioeconomic status, disability, or geographic region. Constructed response items for Claim 1, Reading, and Claim 4, Research, must ask students to support their response with information from the stimulus text or texts. Selected response items must contain plausible but incorrect distractors. Finally, selected response distractors should not be any incorrect answer, but carefully constructed incorrect answers that represent common mistakes in order to elicit information about student misconceptions. When writing an item, it is essential that each item is aligned to the Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts. Each item should also be written to assess a primary claim and target from the Smarter Balanced Content Specifications. Each selected response and constructed response item should be written to focus primarily on one assessment target. Secondary targets are acceptable for some Claim 1 targets. Items may include English language arts concepts detailed in the Common Core State Standards of lower grades. Items should be clearly stated to ensure that students understand the task. Items should be written to clearly elicit the desired evidence of a student's knowledge, skills, and abilities. Item stimuli should be at an appropriate reading level as required by the claim. Items should follow universal design principles and depth of knowledge level should be considered. Now that the basic elements of selected response and constructed response items have been explored, let's develop a better understanding of the characteristics of quality items by looking at some examples of faulty and exemplary selected response items. This is an example of a poorly written selected response item for grade 3. There are several problems with this item. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about issues that may make this item flawed. First, the stimulus text is too complex for grade 3 students. Second, the item is not aligned to the assessment target. The target requires students to determine the meaning of words, but the item is more about understanding the figurative connotation of a phrase. The stem is wordy, confusing, and contains a lot of unnecessary information. Option A is not very plausible given the context of the passage. Finally, options C and D contain bias and sensitivity issues. Now let's examine how this item could be revised to be a well-written item. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about why it is a better item. The complexity and readability of the stimulus text is more appropriate for fourth grade students. 
The item correlates well to Target 14, which requires students to interpret the figurative meanings of text. The wording of the stem is clear and concise. The answer options are plausible and elicit information about student misconceptions. The answer options have also been revised to be free of bias and sensitivity issues. Here is an example of a poorly written middle school item. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about issues that may make this item flawed. In this item, the reading level of the passage is above the tested grade. Claim 2 passages should be below the tested grade. The item is too simple for a level 3 depth of knowledge. The format of the stem and answer options is confusing and students will waste too much time searching for a mistake. The answer options are not presented in a logical order. In an item like this, the options should be presented in consecutive order. Here is an example of the same item, revised to be a well-written middle school selected response item. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about why it is a better item. The stimulus text has been rewritten to be below grade level as required by Claim 2. The depth of knowledge level has been changed to one that is more appropriate for the task. Finally, the format of the stem and options is clear and concise. This is an example of a flawed constructed response item for grade 7. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about issues that may make this item flawed. In this item, the stimulus text is not appropriate for 7th grade students. Both the context and the readability are too far below grade level. The item does not require students to interpret figurative language and therefore does not align with the assessment target. The STEM does not ask students to support their response with information from the stimulus or specify what action the student is supposed to take. The item is not complex and does not require analytical reasoning or thinking. This item is more appropriate as a selected response item than as a constructed response item. Here is an example of a well-written constructed response item for grade 7. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about why it is a better item. The stimulus and prompt are appropriately complex for the grade level. The prompt aligns well with the assessment target. The prompt is well written and requires a complex answer involving analytical reasoning and thinking. Here is an example of a flawed constructed response item written for grade 9. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about issues that may make this item flawed.
This is an example of an item that is overly complex and therefore inappropriate for the designated grade level. Many college students would have difficulty answering this item and a full analysis of the prompt would result in a complete essay. In addition, the use of unnecessary jargon such as blank verse and iambic pentameter introduces bias and violates universal design principles. Now let's take a look at an example of a well-written high school constructed response item. Let's pause for 30 seconds so that you can review this item and think about why it is a better item. This item is rigorous, but appropriately complex for 11th grade. The stimuli are grade-appropriate historical documents, and the brief introduction to the first passage sets the historical context for students who may lack background knowledge on the topic. The prompt is clear and concise and requires a reasonable amount of analytical thinking. Thus far, this module has explored several issues specific to selected response and constructed response items. Specifically, this module examined the essential elements of each item type, including the concept of a stem, stimuli, options, and scoring information. This module also explored the benefits and limitations of each item type. Finally, the module explored several characteristics of faulty items and described elements of exemplary items. The information presented in this module should be used to guide the development of selected response and constructed response items that are specified by the task models for each assessment target measured by the Smarter Balanced Assessment System. For those participants who will be writing technology-enhanced items, please continue with this module. For those participants who will not be writing technology-enhanced items, you may end the module now. In addition to developing traditional selected and constructed response items, Smarter Balanced aims to capitalize on technology to improve the measure of student learning. To this end, the consortium aims to develop two types of items that capitalize on technology. These items are known as Technology Enabled and Technology Enhanced. Technology Enabled items use digital media as the stimulus, but do not require specialized interactions to produce response. Possible stimuli for English language arts technology-enabled items could include short video clips, audio recordings of lectures or speeches, or dramatic readings of prose or poetry. Despite the use of these media types, a technology-enabled item requires a student to provide either a selected response or a constructed response that consists of text. An English language arts technology-enabled item might require students to listen to President Kennedy's 1961 inaugural address and answer a constructed response item analyzing the metaphors he uses regarding foreign policy. Another possible item might have students view a brief video about the proper way to brush and floss your teeth and then write a summary explaining the steps. For ELA assessments, most technology-enabled items will be part of performance tasks that use non-text stimuli and claim three items that involve listening to and or viewing a stimulus. Technology-enhanced items are computer-delivered items that require specialized interactions students must perform to produce a response. Responses produced by a technology-enhanced item require students to do something other than write text or select from among a set of options. These items may also include digital media as the stimulus. Technology-enhanced items should conform to the same essential requirements that have already been discussed for writing quality selected response and constructed response items. The only difference is that they allow students to manipulate information in ways that are not possible with traditional selected response and constructed response items. Like selected response items, technology-enhanced items have defined responses that can be scored in an automated manner. This is an example of an ELA technology-enhanced item for grade 8. For this item, students begin by reading a poem. Next, students find and highlight lines in the text that reveal a change in the speaker's message. 
Depending on how the item writer designed the item, students are able to select one or more blocks of text in the poem. There are several terms that are important to understand when developing technology-enhanced items. The first term is interaction space. The interaction space is the area in which students interact with an item to produce a response. This is the interaction space for an item that presents students with a poem and asks them to select blocks of text within the poem. The interaction space is the area in which students select text blocks. This is a different item that presented a passage and is now asking students to order sentences that describe events in the passage. The interaction space allows students to select the sentences and then change their order. When developing a technology-enhanced item, the task model will indicate which type of interaction space should be used to allow students to produce a response. As an example, the task model for this item specifies the use of the Select Text interaction space. A parameter is a variable that allows a user to provide input to a computer program. As an example, when printing a document, the user is asked how many copies to print. The number entered for this parameter is used to tell the computer how many times to repeat the print function or routine for the document. Many interaction spaces contain parameters that allow an item writer to specify additional information, like the number of responses the student can create or specific characteristics of the response. As an example, the Select Text Interaction Space allows an item writer to define the size of the blocks of text that are to be selected. The text block size can be defined as whole words, whole sentences, whole paragraphs, or custom-defined blocks. For this item, custom blocks have been defined. A second parameter, named Limit Selection, allows the item author to indicate whether there is a limit to the number of selections that a student may make. In this example, the number of selections is limited. A related parameter allows the item writer to then indicate what the limit is. In this case, the limit is one selection. By adjusting the values for each interaction space parameter, a single technology enhanced item type can be used to create a wide variety of items. As an example, for this second item, the same poem is used as the stimulus, but the block size is set to whole word and limit selection is set to false, which allows the student to make as many selections as he or she feels is necessary. All technology-enhanced items have a scoring rule associated with them. The scoring rule provides directions to the computer about the logic to be followed to score a response. In some cases, an item will have only one correct response. In other cases, there may be many possible correct responses. In reality, all items have a scoring rule. The scoring rule for a selected response item simply states that if the student's response is identical to the correct response, then the student receives one point. Otherwise, the student receives zero points. Similarly, for a drag and drop item, the scoring rule compares the location of each object with its correct location. The student is then awarded one or more points based on the number of correct categorizations made. Many technology-enhanced items require an item writer to set a value for a special type of variable called a Boolean. A Boolean is a variable that has one of two possible values, true or false. Many technology-enhanced items use a Boolean to indicate whether or not a specific feature should be turned on or off. As an example, the selected text item type allows the item writer to indicate whether or not there is a limit to the number of selections a student can make. In most cases, Boolean variables are used to turn a feature on or off and allow for the production of a wider variety of items from a given technology enhanced item type. There are many different types of technology enhanced item types that can be used to write an item. Most ELA items will use one of the following types. Dropdowns, classification, reorder text, select and order, and select text. As just three examples, the TEI poem item discussed earlier is an example of a select text item. Students selected a block of text from a poem as their answer. The item that asks students to order events in a story is an example of a reorder text item. And the item asking students to classify words as verbs or nouns is an example of a classification item. Additional examples are available in the technology-enhanced item specifications. 
To guide the development of technology-enhanced items, a template has been created for each type of technology-enhanced item. The template for each item type is divided into four steps. The first step in creating an item is to select the type of interaction the student must make to produce a response. The type of interaction selected will determine the template that will be used to produce an item. As an example, to create this item, the item writer selected the Select Text Interaction type. Once a template has been selected, the content that forms the prompt and other directions for the item can be entered in the content section of the template. As an example, for the prompt of this item, the item writer entered, in the sonnet, remember, which lines reveal a change in the speaker's message to her subject. The third step focuses on setting values for the variables associated with the interaction type selected. As was described earlier, for this item, the item writer indicated that the size of text blocks that students could select was defined as custom blocks. In addition, the item writer allowed all custom blocks to be selectable, but limited the number of selections to one. The final component allows an item writer to enter information about how to score a student's response. This information may include the number of points awarded for the item and the responses for each point value. As an example, for this item, the item writer indicated that text block number 4 is the correct response and the value for a correct response is 1 point. A later module will introduce the item writing system that will be used to create and record information for each of these four components of a technology-enhanced item template. This portion of the module has explored several issues specific to technology-enhanced items. Specifically, this portion of the module examined the essential elements of technology-enhanced items, including the concept of an interaction space, parameter values, and scoring rules. This module also explored the steps required to write a technology-enhanced item. Finally, the module described the types of technology-enhanced items that are currently available for development. To learn more about technology-enhanced items, please see the technology-enhanced item specifications developed by the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium.